Hello, this is the FM Bros, and today I'm going to be doing my solo series. Ba so basically, I'm going to just run through, do a running commentary over everything I do, and I'm going to bring you a cop series of me and my friend JJ. I hope you enjoy. So let's start. Let's attend this meeting. Five million. Oh, that's that's actually quite a lot for championship. I'm happy with that. Oh, I can't move to do all this. Just going to skip through. So I'm going to start off by doing my tactics. Get all my tactics sorted out. So I don't have to do it later. I like to play a 4-2-3-1. I think this is the best formation. But it depends. Personal preference really. I just think this formation is good for any team. Only do one striker. But not all formations work, so I'm going to have to sign some players to fit in the formation. Mm. Target man. As he backs Blake is a big, powerful player. Attack. I like to put my wingers as inside forwards. So they come inside and attack from the wings. Advanced playmaker. Box-to-box -box midfielder. I like to have a stopper, this is the guy who just goes in for all the tackles, he don't care, he just goes in. <laughs> Alright, let's check my staff. Where's my assistant manager? Nah, I don't like him. <laughs> Mutual termination. And while I wait, I might as well get him to help me find out, find a new one. Because if I don't have him, I'll just be looking at all top managers. <laughs> I've got my little backroom star filter. So I can just f search them out easily easily, and won't take me ages. Best assistant manager. Alan Cook, let's check him out. Nah. Mervyn Day. I'm not looking for a goalkeeper coach. I'm looking for an assistant manager. Tony Dottry. Oh, I think he's good enough. He's right. Decent. Yeah, I'll just get this guy. Bit demanding, ain't he? 1,900. I saw out my training. Get rid of this guy. Go to training. Oh no. <laughs> it's gonna get my tactics all sorted. I just wanna have my players to be familiar. Five star training facilities, that's good. And this week I'll do fitness. Get my players fitness sorted out. Alright, let's continue. I'm expecting to get promoted this season, but... Well, I should... Yeah, I'm going to get promoted this season. No point considering it. I'm going to get promoted. I have to get promoted. Let's check. For now. Let's go up here. Make the search bell. Fierro. Carlos Fierro. I think they're going to be very demanding for him. I don't want to pay too much. Just go to a million. They're going to reject it, but you know, just want to start negotiating. Let's check who I can sell, who I don't need. Hmm. Stephen Ward, left back. Sigurdsson, he's quite a good player. I might try to get rid of Stephen Hunt. He's getting quite old. His time's passing. Need to bring someone new in.
Docherty. Yep, I've got my assistant manager now. That's good. Don't have to wait ages for him. Let's check out. Check out the um, availability of Will Hughes. Hopefully, I can pick him up quite cheap in this season. Get a scout report. See how much they might want for him. Who else can I check? Otavio. If you guys don't know about this guy, he's just in a few years, he's just an absolute animal. Only 17. But look at these stats. From what you can see, look at these. He's just a great player. They're going to ask for a lot for him. I know they are. I'm just going to put in a million. Mm, got my assistant manager. 4.5 million. That's quite a lot, but try getting for cheaper than that. Or for 3 million. Fiero bid rejected. 1.5. I knew they was going to reject this bid. They're going to ask for like 5 million, I reckon. If you guys have any um, suggestions who you think I should buy, just put it down in the comments. I'll consider them if they're any good. Let's see how much they want for him. 7.5 million. They must be crazy. I'm just going to take them, it can go to 3.4, then I'll lower them demands a bit. Fierro, he's just so good. When he's about 22, the guy will score goals every game. He's just so amazing. Hope I can get hold of him, because he'll be a good quality player for the championship maybe in this year. I hope he'll have good potential, become a great player. Win me the Champions League and much more good stuff. <laughs> Ebanks Blake. He needs a contract. Offer contract. Should I give him this? Lower it a bit. I knew he'd accept it. But look at all these injuries. Come on. And these are like good players as well. Wayne Hennessy, the first team goalkeeper. 12 to 4 no 12 to 14 months no way I've never seen that before at the start of it Kevin Doyle he's quite good 4 star potential 4 star gonna check the table see what teams are in the league I sport Millwall it's a great team not doing very well so far though. Hopefully we can improve. Liam Trotter, he's just a quality player. Let me go to the search. See if I can loan anybody. Make any major loanies. That'll help me win the league. Listed for loan. Mark Gonzalez. Can I scout him? Yeah, I'll scout him. See if he's see if he's any good. Matthew Briggs. He's quite good. I might try loan him. I ain't gonna. Yeah, I'll pay this for wages. I want him to the end of the season. Need a quality left back. Let's check what my left back's like. Might end up selling him. Oh, I've got two. 2.8 million. I think that'd be a good price to get out of a left back. Make off our and just let you know, guys know this is my first video so if you think I'm doing anything wrong or, or can help me improve just let me know in, down in the comments or even send me a private message I'll really appreciate it 4.3 million that's not bad but I know I can get him for cheaper like if you guys didn't know you can just go a little bit cheaper go non-negotiable non and they might accept it, might not. But I find this really effective. 
And if you guys want to know how to um, get my skin, just put it down in the comments and I'll make a video on that. And I'll show you how to put it on and everything. Yep, I told you. I knew they would accept it. I knew they would accept my bid for Fiero. Yeah, I'll take 2.8 million. Oh, 2015. This is actually good, good stuff. Usually, when I sign him, he wants first team, ten thousand a week. Six point five. They just keep going lower every time. It's like they want him. They want to give him two million cheap. I'm not sure if I'm gonna pay four million, considering I only have like five million wage transfer budget. Check out these scout reports. Every time it's just useless players who I'm just not gonna sign. I'm not gonna waste my time signing them. They're just not good enough. Let me try to get my players' morale up. Team meeting. I know that you may have heard of me, so I wanted to personally introduce myself to you as the new Wolves manager. Look at that. They're all inspired and motivated. Just gonna keep doing these and then end meeting. Save some time. So now everyone's fairly good. They used to be like poor. Hopefully that'll help them improve. I'm gonna try sign a another loney. See if I can find anybody good. Nah. Callum McManaman. He's actually really good in real life, but on, on the game, he's okay. He's not great. I'll scout him. See if I want him. Abdul Razak. I've never used this guy before, so I'm just going to scout him because he plays for Manchester City. He might be decent. Go down a bit. Man United centre midfielder. Check him out. Chelsea. I've heard of this guy before. He's supposed to be a really good player. Sean Bat, middle player. Useless player. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That was fast. Processing. What's going on? Got friendly now. If I lose this game, this is just going to be embarrassing. Hope I win. I'm going to put Ebanks Blake straight in. Yeah, that's all the changes I'm going to make. Playing against Oxford, I think they're in League 2 or even the Blue Square. I'm not even sure. We should be beating this team easily. Should not struggle at all, but... My luck, probably end up losing. Just hoping Ebanks Blake can put a few in the net. Dumbia is quite a good player. Carl Henry is good centre midfielder. But the Wolves defence is just the best in the championship. Got Johnson. There's another one called Berra. I don't think he's on the don't think he's on the um start lineup. And there's Stearman who's been loaned out to Ipswich on this. I might recall him though because he's a great player. Let's do my team talk. Pre season or not, you've got to win matches like this. <laughs> Me have to go in hardcore. Don't care, just want to win this match. Need to win it. Well, they're playing a bit of ticky tacker. Barcelona football here. Oh no. No, don't do this to me. No. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. Ebanks Blake, go on Ebanks Blake. Go. What is he doing? Oh my god. This is just pathetic. 
should not be happening to us. We're a championship team. They're in like a blue square and we're just struggling to pass the ball around. Look at that. He just passed it straight to the other team. What is he thinking? Oh, that was, that was a banger. Tongo Dumbia. Good goal. Oh, it's only two minutes in. <laughs> two minutes in and we're one nil up. Sako, he's a great player in real life as well. And I actually hate when people compare FIFA to Football Manager. To be honest, fo FIFA's just the most unrealistic football game when it comes to manager mode. It's just so unrealistic. If you have the money, you can sign any player. If you have enough money to sign Messi, he'll come to you. It's just so unrealistic. This is why I like Football Manager. It's just fun to play. Realistic. Oh, he ranks Blake 2-0. It's only five minutes in. Why is this taking so long? And I have it on key as well. Hopefully I can win this game like 6-7-0. That will get my players morale up. Then hopefully come the start of the season everyone will be playing well. Get us promoted. Dumbia. I hate when we just faff about on the edge of the box. But it ended up with a goal, so Tongo Dumbi again. 3 0 in the first 10 minutes. This is just violation. <laughs> 8.5 rating in the first 20 minutes. And look, now up there, he's saying he's been playing out of position. Does it matter? He scored two goals, had the best rating in the team. Hopefully, he can put a few more away. Half time soon. Half time. I'm quite happy with that performance, so I'm going to have to say. Happy with the performance, passionate, I'd say. Very pleased with your performance. Keep going. Playing some nice pass football here. And then it's just gone. If you guys have ever noticed, always happens to me. In the 90th minute, you have the ball and it's in the plus two. Say the. There's two minutes added time and you're in the second minute. As soon as you get to the second minute, they blow the whistle. Even if you're in that other team's box, they just blow the whistle. But when it's them on the attack, they just carry on the play. Don't understand. Yes. This is just slow and sluggish. It was 3 up in the first 20 minutes and we've seen... Can't seem to be able to score in the second half. No, it was an alright match. I expected better though, but a win's a win. Looking confident, all my players looking confident. It's good because it's not complacent, it's just confidence. It's not good when your players get complacent. They don't play very well. 21 shots, 6 on target, 56% possession. Check my emails, and I'll be doing. I'll be posting a tips and tricks video later on, so you might want to try check that out. Six point two five million. I'm I'm just not gonna bother. See, I was gonna loan this guy, and then we'll just come and loan him. It's not very nice. Let's check McManaman. He's not very good. Compared to other players, to be honest. Check this guy. He's got good mental stats, but technically he's not very great. So I'm not going to bother. Anyway, guys, this is coming. we're coming to the end of the video now. So hope you enjoyed. Um, if, you, if you did enjoy, like. Like, subscribe. If you didn't enjoy, just put in the comments what I did wrong. And I'll hope to improve. 